played your part. Now Batman will play his. I know, Edward, it's a frightening thought. How many failures can even your enviable reputation withstand? But if the bat were distracted and tugged in too many directions by too many threats, why, then you would be assured of the upper hand. Is it working? How kind, Edward. I will keep my fingers crossed. Nothing we know of. The cloudburst is charged, Knight. It's time. Patient notes. Gordon, Barbara, Session One. Wake up, Miss Gordon. Wake up, Injector. Thank you, Miss Gordon. I was afraid that my preferred interrogation method would not be necessary. Do you know why I wear these syringes on my hand? I usually disperse my toxin as an aerosol. It's efficient, but not pure. Now the terror I can elicit with a concentrated dose administered directly into the bloodstream, that is beautiful to witness. The long-term damage is more severe, of course. Good. Who is Batman? Another dose. I am. But you have barely begun. When my toxin dissolves the wall between your conscious mind and your suppressed subconscious nightmares, the resulting flood of fears will swallow this pathetic defiance whole. So... It's personal. There are many in this city with a gift for causing harm. If you want him dead, why come to me? You seem capable. Kill him and you martyr him. You make him a legend. But break him, humiliate him, terrify him, and hold him up for the world to see. Then he's nothing but a man. A distraction. Don't fret. This tree won't make any difference. Ivy isn't strong enough to purify Gotham. No one is. Because you share something. A fear that strikes at you from the shadows, hunts you, keeps you afraid of the dark. You cannot sustain their hope any longer, Batman. They will die afraid and forsaken. Reflect on your failure as you salvage their corpses from the rubble. It's time. Send them in. You cannot stop it, Batman. Their world is crumbling. Nothing's changed, Sergeant. Reduce that edifice to dust and this battle is ours. The ones that fight at your side still believe in you. I will show them how misplaced that belief is. Your forces are in disarray, Sergeant. Adapt. It's what men like you are paid for. Remove them. Barbara Gordon. Remnants of Gotham, I have messages for you all. To the vandals who stayed behind to pick the still warm flesh from Gotham's bones, have your fun. You are under my protection. And to Batman, I have already won. Emptied your city with a vial of toxin and a few threatening words. That's how little the safety you provided was worth. To the cowards quaking behind the police department's walls, you will not be spared. And when the dawn comes, when Gotham lies in ruin and I turn my gaze to the world beyond, the legend of the Batman will be worth nothing at all. Why did I warn them, Batman? Why give those terrorized refugees time to flee? You don't know, do you? And it scares you. Your allies won't help you tonight, Batman. I will be the end of you all. Give up the hunt, Bat. You won't find me until I want you to. 
The country watches Batman from Metropolis to Keystone. We're going to give them a show. You thought me gone, didn't you, Batman? Lost in the waters beneath Arkham. But like all submerged, forgotten fears, eventually I returned. I have waited for this night, yearned for it. When I'm finished, the world will be forever changed. You left me to die in the asylum, but I will show you no such mercy. Look at your city, abandoned in terror by those that fled, torn apart by those who had nowhere to go. There were whispers after Arkham City. Some think you changed. Some think you killed him. I know better. I know there are some lines that even the Batman fears to cross. Recruit anyone else to your cause and they will suffer the same fate. You are alone, Batman, and I will teach you to accept it. Do you think this charade inspires hope? The longer you fight, the further you drag Gotham into darkness. Ivy's sacrifice came too late, Batman. The victory she handed you, Pyrrhic. Who can live in Gotham now and feel safe? I do not need the cloudburst, Batman. By dawn I will have you. A captive hero and a camera. That's all I need to spread fear. Doubt, Batman. That is all I required. Everyone has seen what is possible. The terror that can be wrought upon them all. Do not think this is a victory. Gotham's end will be delivered when you are unmasked. From that, there will be no return. The army is mine, Batman. I still control Gotham and your fate with it. I offered Ivy a deal, Batman. I offered her your defeat and Gotham purged of humanity. You offered her death instead. People of Gotham... Poison Ivy allied herself with Batman, and she died for her mistake. Remember where the power now lies. I gave you all a gift. Stripped away your pretenses and let you be the frightened beasts you all are inside. Be grateful, Gotham. Accept what I have shown you about your true selves. Were you expecting to find me, Batman? I'm afraid I must disappoint you. Take a look at the chamber. I want you to know the fear that is coming. The cloud burst won't withstand another strike. Retreat! I am disappointed, Poison Ivy. You could have had a Gotham where humanity feared to tread, but you choose this absurd alliance instead. What place is there in the world for a man like you once he has failed? We'll soon find out. What scares you more, Batman? The thought that Gotham might fall? Or the notion that when it does, you will no longer be needed to protect it? You will have your chance to kill him. Ah, the Anarchy of Terror. Join them in the toxin, Batman. Stop fighting those fears. Tonight, the Batman failed. Tonight, fear rules. Gotham is mine. Do you see, world? The nightmare has truly begun. The cloudburst is not bait, Knight. It is mine. Soon, Dark Knight. 
My moment draws near. It is time for you to bear witness to Gotham's end. Her destruction will be mirrored in your defeat. No matter how many thugs you beat, or how many tanks you leave smoldering and wrecked in your wake, you will lose this fight. The truth, Batman, what pains you most is that life will carry on without you. Your crusade has meant nothing. Ivy aligns herself with no one, Batman. Remember that. You cannot hide Ms. Isley from me, Batman. She will be found and felled. <laughs> and still you struggle on. Your bravery inspires. Yet the harder you fight, the more complete my eventual victory will be. People of Gotham, I'm going to give you something. A gift unlike anything you've experienced before. You are, all of you, soon to confront the darkness inside yourselves. You'll be forever changed. Can you sense it, Batman? You stand teetering on the precipice of defeat. I envied you, Batman, when you emerged. It was as if a gargoyle had stirred from its perch to exact judgment upon the sinners below. Now you're familiar. A ghost story turned tourist attraction. The street thugs fear broken bones more than the man who breaks them, while the rest of Gotham clings to that cape like a child to a mother's skirt. Batman, what happened at the safe house was not some cruel game. It was necessary. Tonight is about more than Gotham. It's about what you became in that room. The hero who failed. That's what I want the world to see. You raised yourself above them, Batman. Inspired the herd. But what happens when their idol falls from his pedestal in front of their eyes? The man who swore to save Gotham. The hero who vowed to protect her people. Such worthless promises. This is no territory of yours, Batman. It is mine, and you will suffer my dominance. What do you see when perched on high? Pray that no longer fears you? A dead city that heralds your own demise? Mr. Cobblepot joins us, as does Mr. Enigma. Others wait in the shadows, hungry for your downfall. Chase after your ally, Bat, if you can, through a city my army now controls. The with luck you'll find her before I show you how tonight is really going to end. Batman, you think me so easily defeated? You think some rusting factory was the only weapon I had? Be calm. They're not hunting you. Are you scared, petty criminals of Gotham? Of the tanks rolling across the roads? The armed men patrolling your streets? Can you sense it? That this is the end? That the long reign of Batman is over? Too long you've played Atlas. Bore the burden of people's hopes, being the bulwark against their fears. But your aging muscles falter tighten, your grip grows weak. Who was the Arkham Knight? Are there others like him? More embittered ghosts trailing in the caped crusader's wake? Why delay, Dark Knight? What can you hope to achieve? There's no legacy left to build that I will not raise to the ground. When the mask is torn from you, what will you become? 
An outcast, a living ghost, trapped by the guilt of failure. Still hunting, Batman? An attempt to bolster your confidence before facing me. <laughs> Pointless, but understandable. I thought Arkham Knight to be your enemy. Another bitter thwarted foe. Now I suspect he was your real weakness, your true legacy. Another failed friend. Do not let cowardice be your epitaph. Accept your fate and face me. You won't abandon them, Batman. You're no coward. But postponing the inevitable like this betrays your fear. A farewell tour of the city you failed. Who am I to deny you? No doubt the men and women in GCPD lavished you with praise for saving them. I hope you savored that moment. It means nothing in the end. Enact all the feats of heroism you want, Dark Knight. The guilt you carry cannot be purged. You will be my finest work, Batman. Your destruction will shatter hope, spread terror like a thousand cloudbursts combined. Come, be my burnt offering to fear. You're out of tricks, Dark Knight. You have no trump cards to play. I will wait until you see you have nowhere to turn. You're delaying Batman, avoiding the inevitable. But I have your friends, and I am a patient man. Have I misjudged you, hero? Will you leave Robin and the Commissioner in my grasp? You've saved so many people, could save so many more, all for the cost of two dead friends. Your friends aren't safe, Batman. I didn't spare Miss Gordon for mercy's sake. I will milk every drop of terror from my captives. And when fear's sharp edge starts to dull, that's when I cut their throats. You don't fear death, do you, Batman? Few broken men do. You fear the dismantling of your legend. You fear defeat. Come to me, Batman. Face your fears. How long has it been, Batman? How many years spent fighting? How many nights spent crouched on rooftops in the cold, wet dark? I offer you an end to the struggle. I offer you release. Such hatred in your eyes back at Ace Chemicals. You must be afraid. You style yourself as a guardian, Batman, a protector. Yet you cannot even guard your friends. Our army is trained, Batman. Disciplined and loyal. They lack the cowardice you rely on and exploit. The Arkham Knight longs for your death, Batman. Yet I promised him I'd give you a worse fate than that. It's gone, Dark Knight. The grip you had on Gotham. Your long reign of fear. I'm sovereign now. It all falls apart, Batman. Everything you worked for. The peace you built on a foundation of sand. He despises you, this Arkham Knight. What did you do, hero, to enkindle such hatred? What will young Barbara reveal about your fears, I wonder? What secrets can I coax from her terror-stricken mind? How long will you struggle, Batman? How long will you try and enforce order on a city whose natural state is chaos and despair? You're always...
always chasing dark night. You always lag behind. You could have struck first, ended me and every villain long ago, but you're afraid. Thugs and hoodlums might be your usual prey, but my army is no such pack of cowards. I watched you on the airship as you nearly tore those men apart. Fears honest, Dark Knight. It seems a cornered bat may be a killer after all. I have the cloudburst, Batman, and I will use it. Even now they look to you. The impotent authorities, the cowards who fled, all eyes, all hopes, upon a man who fails his friends. When I'm done with Gotham and with you, I will have barely begun. Terror will spread far. You keep fighting, Batman, despite setback, failure, and loss. It's a pleasure to watch such resolve, Deliquette. The cloudburst will spread my toxin for miles in an instant. It will be terrorism in its purest form. Her plant will not save this wretched city. Gotham citizens will see their beloved home forever destroyed. Do you still see it, Batman? The terror in her eyes as she looked upon your true self. Savor that image. There are many like it still to come. Do you mourn, Batman? Or are you really the stoic caricature you play? Beneath that mask, there's a man, I'm sure. A man who grieves, a man who suffers, a man who fears the reckoning to come. You fought hard, Batman, but your search for the cloudburst is just beginning. She wasn't the first of your allies to fall at your feet. How many more will die before the curtain comes down on your misguided crusade? I told the Arkham Knight that you are his to dispose of after tonight. Though I warned him that what's left won't be the Batman anymore. What drives you, Batman? For most souls it's fear. Of loneliness, of poverty, of death, but not you. You act like a man who mistakenly believes his worst fears have already come to pass. What do you think the world sees when they look upon you, Batman? A hero? A savior? Or the architect of Gotham's demise? I will give you one chance, Poison Ivy, just one. Do not side with Batman for the sake of a few blades of grass. And still you search. You have lost, Dark Knight. The cloudburst is beyond your reach. Were I you, I'd hide in some dark corner of Gotham and be afraid. The violence on Stagg's airship was not your usual cold brutality. It was sadism. Your true instincts emerge, Batman. Thorned weeds creeping through cracked granite. You must have known, Dark Knight. Your allies become victims the moment they commit to your cause. Perhaps you suppressed those fears, but they resurfaced tonight. In death, he has nothing left to fear. Keep him away from Ace Chemicals. Your vengeance will come. We have not broken him yet. It will come. Your revenge is at hand. This is his last night. Why do you hate him so much? It appears that the flow of chemicals has stopped. Which can only mean that you are here, Batman. I've been looking forward to seeing you again. But more than that, 
We're about to turn Gotham into the epicenter of a blast that will transform the entire eastern coast of America into my domain. Gentlemen, tonight is the night that Gotham changes forever. The night it becomes a wasteland of nightmares, a forsaken symbol of Batman's failure, a monument to fear. Right now, there are lingering questions in each of you. The presence of the toxin is twisting the knife of doubt. You can't stop thinking, have I been exposed? Perhaps you believe those suits will protect you. They won't. Nobody can protect you from the terror I'm about to unleash. Nobody but me. When we reach critical mass, my device will detonate, covering the entire state in a blanket of fear. If its guards have not yet forsaken it, they will. They too will scream and claw and kill each other to survive what they shall see. My toxin will defeat the strongest of minds. It will tear down defenses and twist their realities until the only thing they know to be true is me, their king. A king of fear. Need I remind you that we are on a tight schedule here. Gotham is going to pay for what its savior did to me. You each have been given a task. Complete that task and pray that you will not experience my fear toxin firsthand. The people of Gotham can run all they like, but they will not avoid their fate. Each element you carry is vital to my plan. My toxin's design has been perfected over years of clinical trials. The speed at which it enters the bloodstream is matched only by the ferocity with which it takes hold. Once released into the atmosphere, the gas cloud will cover the entire eastern seaboard. From there, it has the potential to reach the farthest corners of the continent. An entire nation gripped by fear. By my estimates, the fallout will last a century or more. Do you really think you've won? Fear makes you predictable. I am in complete control. Let me go, or she dies. Barbara Gordon? Barbara Gordon! Nothing hurts like losing one of the family. Knowing that there is no one to blame but yourself. When this factory detonates, it will be the heart of a raging storm. A rapidly expanding cloud of toxin that will engulf all in its path. There is a chance the Batman will try and stop us here. Do not fear him. He is an empty threat, dressed in Halloween garb. My fear toxin is a psychoactive compound developed and improved through years of careful study. No other synthetic or organic molecule can replicate its effects upon the brain. Faster, man, faster! I do not wish to inform the knight that I was displeased with your efforts, nor I suspect do you want me to. Fear is honest. Fear is naked. Coax terror out of a man, and you will see him for who he really is. Do not slacken in your labors, or cease in your work. You will be well rewarded when your task is complete. When your work is complete, you will have triggered an unstoppable reaction, the results of which will be felt for decades. The Batman thinks he knows fear. I will show him what it truly means to inspire dread. Are you frightened? 
Do you fear the ruin you're about to unleash? It's too late for doubt. When we are done, Gotham will be a dead city. A city of fear. Its skyscrapers will be headstones. Its homes will be tombs. I know you're out there. The door is open. You're even more afraid than I anticipated. You know where to find me, Batman. I'll be waiting. I've longed for this dark night. Come to me, Batman. What are you afraid of? I thought you brave enough to confront me. The asset is a crucial element of my plan. Do not disappoint me. Is the strike team ready? The cracks are forming as it pushes its way to the surface. There's something different about you. You're afraid. You've always buried your fears. Locked them away deep in your subconscious, hidden. But something is gnawing away in the darkness of your mind, isn't it? Something even you can't control. You might fool everyone else, but you can't fool me. I can almost taste it. So I finally have your attention. Come and join the party. If you try anything stupid, Wayne Enterprises will be looking for a new CEO. Our work is nearly done. My calibrations are almost complete, and the cloud burst will soon be charged. Until then, keep supplying me with energy cells. You're not dying. It just feels like you are. My toxin is filling your lungs, drowning you in your greatest fears. There is no savior. As I tear your mind apart, Gotham will watch. I will cut that mask from your face, and the whole world will see the fear in your eyes. Then they too will understand. No more hope. What can you see? A city engulfed in fear. Betrayed by those you trust the most. Your darkest secrets revealed. No more, Batman. The flow of power to the cloudburst must not cease. Keep loading the cells. The cloudburst will be the method of my vengeance. Should you fail to prepare it, I shall take that vengeance out upon you. We're not done, men. I need more power. The cloudburst still isn't ready. Keep supplying me with cells. Are you afraid of what I will do when the cloudburst is charged? Don't be. I have guaranteed your protection. Fear what will happen to you should you fail to charge it. The men at Ace Chemicals failed me. You may have noticed that there are none among your number now. Not yet. The cloud burst must be fully charged. You're different. You're different. Who said anything about running? <laughs> Something's changed. I need men in biological engineering, ferrying energy cells to charge the device. And I need more men to defend them. Do not fail me. Gentlemen, an announcement. Our one-time friend, Mr. Stagg, neglected to keep the cloud burst charged and ready for operation. We will need to do the job ourselves. But fear reveals the truth. Erodes your self-control. Soon you will kill and become that which you hate the most. Soon the bat will be broken. You almost killed these men. 
You were ready to abandon your beliefs, everything you stand for. You tell yourself you are not like us. You tell yourself you are something more, something better. Astonishing. Such brutality. You stretched yourself too far this time, Batman. And now your failure is all but complete. How does it feel to see your city on the brink of ruin, your friends in the clutches of death? As that final dying breath escapes her body, she will know you are the one who failed her. Poor little Barbara Gordon. Close your eyes. Can you see her? Cowering in the darkness, cursing the hero who failed her. I could have her killed right now. It would be cruel, sadistic, brutal. But I have other plans in store for both of you. She has become your weakness, your obsession, dragging you deeper into the abyss. Did you think you stopped me at Ace Chemicals, Batman? <laughs> you merely delayed the inevitable. Gotham is mine to do with as I please. And the same can be said of your friend. Prepare yourself, Batman. My reign of terror starts now. You die here, and your legend dies with you. This is the end, Dark Knight. You have nothing to be afraid of anymore. Didn't you know, Dark Knight, you can't fight fear. You have failed to stop me, Batman. Now Gotham will fall. Die, knowing that I will make them suffer. Everyone. Free to see the city you swore to defend tear itself apart. Free to see everyone you love hunted down and killed. Every scream, every death, vengeance for all that Batman has done. Do you know what happens now, Mr. Wayne? I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to set you free. Do you not understand? It is over. What? The city of fear. We both know fear is theatrics, Batman. So permit me the indulgence of putting on this show. You will bring death to all who follow you. Yes, you see it now. The horror behind the glass. The monster that will be your end. Unless you pick up that gun and deny him. Too bad, Batman. The nightmare was just beginning. Oh, I'm sorry, Batman. Didn't mean to frighten you. And so ends the nightmare. How are you still alive? Not only is it impossible, it's insulting. I will destroy you, Batman, if it's the last thing I do. My toxin will fill the streets and bring this city to its knees. What is this petty tinkering? Nothing you do will save you. It's all hopeless. By the time I'm through with you, Gotham will abhor you. What's wrong with you, Batman? Losing your mind? Wouldn't be the first time. Won't be the last. Batman, stop this madness. You're just delaying the inevitable. I will take from you everything you fear to lose. And I will watch you suffer. I will chew your soul and spit out the pieces, you pathetic little bug. What is it you think you're doing, Batman? Nothing you do can stop me. What is...
is that you're doing? Do you really think you can stop me? Fool. How did it feel to kill him? You can convince yourself it was an accident, but we know the truth, don't we? Your patience will be rewarded soon. Good. Are we still on schedule? And the cloud burst? Gotham, this is your only warning. Tomorrow, this will seem like child's play. This demonstration used just five ounces of my latest toxin. These are pure, perfect memories, crystallized moments of fear. Should you survive, you will find that increased synaptic plasticity has allowed your mind to record every aspect of this encounter with unusual clarity. Blood has been drawn away from your skin to serve more crucial functions. Perhaps you felt that, the cold chill of fear. Your pupils have by now dilated in desperate, straining effort to pick up what they can in the dark. Your muscles have tensed in anticipation of the moment he strikes. By now, you will be in a state of heightened alertness. The glands in your brain pumping a surge of hormones. Norepinephrine, hydrocortisone, adrenaline through your insides. This is your fight or flight instinct calling. But let me be clear. You have no such choice. You are privileged men. The brain's fear mechanisms evolved in response to predation, to beasts hunting us in the dark. There can be few ordeals quite so evocative of our ancestral fears as this. Do you feel it as he chips away at your number? The process is firing in your brains. Look at them, Batman, as they quake in terror at the creature who strikes from the dark. This is how you like your prey, yes. We both use fear, dark night. But only one of us understands it. Some of you may never recover from this night. Your brain will rewire itself into a state of permanent fear response. A hair trigger mechanism for panic that will have you bolting awake at night, clutching at your bed sheets, crying like a child. It is time for the people of Gotham to see their savior for who he truly is. A man, just a man, devoid of hope, betrayed by his friends, crippled by fear. And that fear makes you mine. And I'm not talking to you. It is time. Do you know what happens when a man refuses to be controlled by his fears? He must face them. Shh. It's okay to be afraid. <laughs> Jim. So you did it. I must admit I had my doubts that you could make this happen. Did you think I wanted him dead? Did you think that would save your daughter? You both still have a part to play. Once I understood your greatest fear, controlling you was simple. You blame yourself for her condition. You need to protect her, but buried deep down is the inevitability that you will one day fail. Think very carefully about your next move, Commissioner. Her life depends on it. Call in the transport. We're leaving. And now, Batman, I destroy you. You will perish along with your precious city. All hope for Gotham dies with you. This is the end, Batman. I will empty this city of hope and fill it with fear. 
You're nothing but a bug in a suit. This is where you die, Batman. Tonight, Gotham Falls, a city of fear rises. Batman, you're still breathing. Not for long. Do not listen to Batman's false orders. The night is gone. You answer to me and me alone. Him? Of him you have nothing to fear. I know what you fear. And once you've cut off Gotham's limbs, I will strike her at the heart. He keeps you jumping at shadows, keeps you afraid of the dark. Tonight, Gotham is yours. Hurt her, pillage her, have your revenge. The terror that unites you, you shouldn't be. It's time. Mr. Gordon, I would like you to do the honors. As they stare into your eyes, they will blame you. Failure will have a face and a name. Enough bravado. It's too late for that. I don't care who you are, but they will. Now the world can see you for what you truly are. A legend laid bare. Powerless. Human. Afraid. Are you ready? Now. Take off that mask, or my next shot will kill him. Wayne. Bruce Wayne. The die is cast, Batman. And from now on, I need your undivided attention. The nightmare is almost over. Your failure almost complete. I can see it. And soon the whole world will see it too. Your eyes betray you. You are truly afraid. I'm going to rob them of hope. The fear of what I will do to your friends will bring you back. You know it. I know it. <laughs> what do you seek in those tunnels, Batman? Hope you will find none. I wish I could watch what happens next, but I must go. Like you, Simon Stagg has many secrets, and just like you, tonight, his secrets are going to cost him dearly. Can you feel the toxins running through your body? Yes. Keep thinking about the Commissioner's little girl. It will make the toxins work faster. Fear is not a cudgel, Batman. It's not a sword, nor a shield. Fear is a scalpel, slicing cleanly through your victim's pathetic pretensions to civility and exposing the whimpering beast within. Do you take pride in what you have reduced them to? The mewling babes your assaults exposed? I will do that to you, Dark Knight. I will peel back every layer of the Batman before the night is through. And now, Dark Knight, I turn to you. But don't be afraid. The hope that dies tonight. It's not your life that needs ending. It's your myth. The hope that you stand for. First, we must break him. Tear down the walls of his psyche until he begs for the end. What can you see? A city engulfed in fear. Your allies, helpless and afraid. Abandoned by their savior. I will cut that mask from your face. Then they too will understand. After I rip your world apart, piece by piece. 
There is no savior. No more Batman. In death, he has nothing left to fear. And the whole world will see the fear in your eyes. No more hope. Your vengeance will come. My toxin choking its streets, blotting out the moonlight, poisoning the saplings you thought could stop me. You promised that Gotham would be safe, protected. But what does the world see now? Good. And the strike team? The asset is integral to the plan. You proved me wrong. I once searched for Terra in chemistry. I thought perfectly arranged atoms could unlock the demons in a man's mind. Gotham, this is your only warning. Abandon this city, or I will unleash your greatest fears. And the darkness closes in. Your time is almost up, Batman. Through the darkness we go. Live by fear. Die by fear. <laughs> Soon this city will know what fear is. What real fear is. Scared yet? Come on, Batman. Don't be scared. GCPD, the home of Gotham's brave men and women, a beacon of hope in a city of chaos and despair. Watch as I obliterate it and the lives of all that cower within its walls. Do you see this, Batman? Your poisoned, desolate city, its people tearing out each other's throats, their own throats in terror. The world sees it too. Next, the world will see what happens to the man who tries to stop me. And when it does, the world will know fear. You aren't fighting for Gotham tonight. You're fighting for every desperate fool who thinks that when their worst fears come to pass, a hero might come and save them. And you're losing. The nightmare has just begun. Shh. It's okay to be afraid. The nightmare has begun. How many more bones will you crush? How many lives will you destroy in pursuit of what you call justice? You are the product of everything you fear. Violence, darkness, helplessness. All that remains is for you to watch as I drag your beloved Gotham into oblivion. I'm sure that you're scared of what will happen when I tear that mask from your face. What will we find? Your true identity, or proof that without your mask, you are nothing. Impotent, powerless, afraid. They are your weakness, hiding just below the surface. How fitting that I will win and Batman's life will be over, not because of what I have done to your precious city, but because you are scared of what I will do to your friends, your family. Leave your equipment on that table, and we can find out. Your fears got the better of you, I see. Good. Why aren't you scared? Die. Batman, burn, you will burn, suffer, let's hear you scream, poor little bat, in the end the last laugh will be mine, not his.
I'll shatter your soul and bury the pieces in a pit of madness. It will take more than that to overcome me. Simple plebeian, you cannot destroy me. You can only make me angrier. Fool, how do you propose to escape your own fears? Bring me back a morsel. <laughs> Pick his bones apart. <laughs> Feed. Rip his soul to pieces. <laughs> Make him suffer. Rip him to pieces. Bring down the bat. Bring me his soul. Tear him apart. Attack. Feed him to the crows. I want you to know the fear that is coming. You actually believe you've won, don't you, Batman? Savor this fleeting delusion of victory. For even as my toxin dissipates, it leaves behind a forsaken city, forever tainted by your failure. Tonight, the myth of Batman dies, and Gotham dies with it. The Arkham Knight may have fled in terror, but now his army answers to me. How can the world know fear, true dread, when it has you, a stalwart knight ever ready to slay monsters? Fear isn't pure biology, Batman. It's more than instinct. True fear is the absence of hope. And hope is the spread wings of a bat shining on the clouds. The commissioner placed his trust in you to keep his city safe, his family safe. Can you still atone for your failure? Are you still the master of your own destiny? The answer's awaiting, Batman, as am I. When I break you, Batman, I will have lifted the veil and shown you hell. Guiding you to the very depths of suffering will be my pleasure. Fascinating that your fears would drive you to lock your closest ally in a prison cell. The Commissioner was so eager to betray you earlier, when his daughter's life depended on it. Now those same fears will make you do as I say. There's a storage depot in Kingston. Go there, alone. Prepare to take off that mask, or your friends will die. Looking for someone? You should know by now that nowhere is safe. And now I have your Robin, the caged bird. So... Fear got the better of you. Your friends were worried you would abandon them. I knew that you couldn't. Put your things on the table and give them a glimmer of hope before I take it all away. Stop this, Knight. Everything is in hand. We had a plan. He is going to suffer. Give in to fear as your commander did, and I will find you. Hold him off, and you will be rewarded. Like a moth to a flame, the bat comes flapping. <laughs> I've always wondered what makes a grown man dedicate his whole life to scaring the socially challenged. What gives you the right to take the law in your own hands? What gives you the right to terrorize criminals? What makes you think you can save Gotham? 
You can't save Gotham, Batman. No one can. I find it amazing that you're still alive, let alone driving. You are quite the adversary, Batman. I've never had to work so hard to rip a person's soul apart. I must say, I appreciate the challenge. I hope you're enjoying yourself. That's all that matters in the end. You let him die, and now what? What will you do without him? Without your better half? By the end of this night, Batman, I will hear you scream in terror. I guarantee it. You miss them, don't you? Fear not, little bat. You're about to join them. It's always a pleasure to mess with your head, Batman. You let him die on purpose, didn't you? Deep down, beyond your moral code, you knew what had to be done to save Gotham. For every rule, there is an exception. He was the exception, wasn't he? We both know it wasn't an accident. Batman doesn't make mistakes that cost lives. Not even on his worst day. You fooled everyone but me, Batman. I see right through the mask to the frightened little boy. That scared little boy who dreamed every night for a hero to save his parents from being gunned down like two useless dogs. What gives you the moral right to terrorize criminals? How many will I kill because you could not do to me what needed to be done to keep me off the streets? Having trouble seeing clearly? Here's an old remedy I used to prescribe to my patients in Arkham. Just throw a little salt in your eyes and rub. Try it. You'll feel a lot better. What's wrong, Batman? Is your mind playing tricks on you? Are you really here? Am I really talking? Are you really in the Batmobile? Now, the truck. Commence the heavy shelling. Bring it down. Bring it all down. You've always buried your fears. Lock them away deep in your subconscious, hidden. But something is gnawing away in the darkness of your mind, isn't it? Something even you can't control. You might fool everyone else, but you can't fool me. I can almost taste it. The cracks are forming as it pushes its way to the surface. There's something different about you. You're afraid. Show me, Batman. Show me how scared you were when everything changed. Surprised you made it this far. You have no idea what I have in store for you. This is just a taste. You couldn't even save the ones that mattered. How do you expect to save Gotham? A little taste of your own medicine. Right, Batman? When I'm through with you, you will beg for death. Welcome to your own personal hell. Please stay a while. How does it feel to have your mind torn apart? Your parents are in hell, and you're about to join them. You can die now. You cannot escape fear. You're in hell now. Without fear, life is meaningless. Impossible. Do you understand, Gotham? You were there at the beginning. And now, I've won. You get to see how it ends. What's wrong? Scared. Ha, 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 ha,
Pursuing your perverted sense of justice, you filled a whole asylum with your personal creations. What do you see? You can tell me. Just relax, Batman. The more you fight it, the deeper you plunge into the darkness. Feel that tickle beneath your breastbone. That's fear. Give in to the fear. It's your only chance. Let go, Batman. We're all afraid sometimes. Drown, my dear Batman, in an ocean of your greatest fears. How many died because you're scared to break a rule? Let go. Relax. Kill someone. You just might save a few lives. Who knows? You might even enjoy it. How many lives have you ruined in pursuit of what you deem justice? Do they haunt you? How does it feel to have your weapon used against you? What's buried beneath and dying to come out? Show me. That's it, Batman. Let your mind create the nightmare from your own personal stable of demons. Do you see them? All the monsters you created. Prepare yourself, Batman. My reign of terror starts now. You die here, and your legend dies with you. This is the end, Dark Knight. You have nothing to be afraid of anymore. Didn't you know, Dark Knight? You can't fight fear. You have failed to stop me, Batman. Now Gotham will fall. Die, knowing that I will make them suffer. Everyone. I wanted more than your death and Gotham's destruction. 
But you forced my hand. He's still out there, waiting in the shadows, lurking in the dark. A monster from childhood nightmares made real. A demon in the flesh. Fear evolved as a survival mechanism. It evolved to keep you safe from things that wish you harm. Pac-Man is still hunting you. Cling to your fear. Are you jumping at shadows? Dreading each corner you turn? You should be. He is still out there. Do not mistake these lulls and pauses for the Batman's retreat. They are theater. He's waiting to attack again, letting you anticipate the assault. As you recover from his last assault, your heart rate will slow. Your muscles will relax. Do not let this trick of biology lull you into thinking you're safe.